this finds you doing well, you and yours, playing lots of music, all of that good stuff. I am Angela Petrulli here with the awesome folks at Fishman doing another Fishman Take over here, another episode of the Riff Rundown. I am going to be teaching Honky Tonk Women by the Rolling Stones. Yes. I've got my telly here today. It's actually the first lesson I'm featuring my, my telly. What I've, I've gotten here are the, uh, the awesome gristle tones. By our buddy Greg Cock over here with Fishman. And yeah, these, these pickups rock. They so, so fit the whole Keefe feel and vibe. Oh, it's really, really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. So really happy to be playing this one today. So before we get started, folks, what I'd like to know is where you are tuning in from. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, wherever you guys are watching from. Where are you tuning in from and your favorite Rolling Stones album? That's what I want to know today. Thank you all so much for being here. Over the next hour, I'm going to be teaching you how to play this. We're going to go through it nice and slow. So here we go. I'm going to play a little bit of it, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. go so we're gonna be going over that one today I see folks are asking are you playing an open G tuning the answer is yes we're gonna be an open G so here's how we get there from a standard tune guitar so your low E string tune it down to D here's the thing though we are not going to be playing this low E string a lot of times Keith plays a five string guitar so in this case tune it down to D we're not gonna use it but tune it down to D your A string, tune it down to G, G is in go. Your D string, keep it as is. G string, keep it as is. B string, keep it as is. High E string, bring it down to D. So in total, here are the notes that are happening. D as in dog, G is in go, D is in dog, G is in go, B is in boy, and then D is in dog. That is going to be the tuning that we are using today, and that's open G. So why is that called open G? We're including the one, three, five, right? The three notes that you put together in the key of G to make your major chord. So those notes are G, B, and D. Your one of G, your three, which is B, and your five, which is D. So there we go. Glad you guys are here. I'm seeing a lot of folks. Sticky Fingers, that's one of my favorites. My top three, Let It Bleed, Sticky Fingers, Exile on Main Street is so good too. Oh, Goat's Head Soup though. I, all right, if I'm gonna pick four, those are my four. There we go, I said it. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started and play this thing. So, our first part when we're jumping right into this intro, we're just gonna strum it, no hands, G chord, right? So just strum it. We're gonna kind of sort of palm unit. We're gonna be pretty percussive with it too. Like that. That's how we're gonna go ahead and play this. So again, I'll do it nice and slow, then we'll play it to speed. Now to speed. So that's what's happened there. Again, 
down strokes here. We're not doing any up and down strokes quite yet. Just for that intro, I'll keep it really simple. So now we get to that first iconic intro riff. Here's how we do that. We're gonna go ahead and use our second finger here. We're gonna put that second finger on the second fret of that G string. And since we didn't change the tuning of it, that note is still gonna be A, okay? So we're gonna slide that A to B, fourth fret. But what we're also doing here is we're gonna go ahead and drone that high E string here, okay? So we're gonna play that together. That requires us to do a bit of hybrid picking when we do this. So your pick, place it on the G string, and your middle finger, go ahead and pluck that E string. So you're gonna do this together. Hear how we did that? Just like that. Now, we're gonna go backwards. And then release that G string, okay? Meanwhile, we're continuing to do that droning high E string. Okay? Just like that. I'll do it a few times here at varying speeds. Now a little faster. Okay, pretty cool, pretty simple. So let's go ahead and move on to the next bit of this. So we've got. We're gonna do the sort of series of hammer-ons and pull-offs here at that second fret of the G string. So second fret. Like that. Just up, press down on that second fret, release while continuing to drone on that E string, okay? So now let's go ahead and combine those two parts. Again. All right, so there you go. Again, not too bad, not too bad. Now what comes next? I'm gonna do a little bit of a bend on that second fret of the G string. Bend and then release back down. So using that second finger, we're gonna continue to use it here. Bend slightly up. See how it's kind of got that pedal steely-ish kind of sound? That's what we're looking for here, those country tones. Meanwhile, we are continuing to use that droning E string on the bottom. So do that hybrid picking there again. So here it is, just isolating that one bit. Again. And again, these bends can be a little tricky. Take your time with this. Really, really listen to your ear. Your ear will tell you when you've overshot that bend. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna do it wrong here on purpose so you can hear when you've bent too much. Right? So, hear that? That's when we've gone too far. So you wanna be firm with that bend, but be mindful to not overshoot it, okay? So again, that's what we're looking for. Just a nice little bend and then back to true, okay? So now here's the whole thing, all three of those parts. Again. And again, all we're using is the second finger here. The trickiest bit of this is really this hybrid picking that's happening with the right hand. So take your time when you're learning this. Okay, now the next bit. We're gonna go ahead and put that second finger here on the second fret of the D string. That's our E note there, okay? Now we go back to our little bit here, second fret G string. We're gonna play the G string and E string open at the same time. Second finger goes down, second fret G string. And release, G string, E string, open together. Okay, I'm gonna do that again, nice and slow. Here we go. I'm 
gonna do this a few times. Hang with me here. Here we go. A few more times. Last time, we'll do it a little faster. So there it is. There's the intro bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and play the chords that go with it and the intro, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the verse. There's our intro bit. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the verse. Again, those of you who have questions, by all means, go ahead and type them into the comments. I am gonna get to them during our little question breaks throughout this lesson. Because again, this is a lesson, but it's also a and a So those of you who have questions about the gear and the guitars and all that good stuff, there will be a time where I will answer these questions. So again, <coughs> thank you all so much for being here. That's the intro. Let's go ahead and move on to the verse. So. The chords that are here in the verse, you're looking for G, D, C, and A. Those are the chords that are going to be used in this verse. So your G chord is going to be the open guitar. Again, I mentioned that a few moments ago. G, B, and D are the notes that are there. Okay. Our A chord, what's going to happen there is you're playing your A, C sharp, and E, the one, three, five of A major. And with our C, that's gonna be located on the fifth fret, you're gonna bar the, bot or the bottom five strings, okay? Everything except that big E string we're gonna bar. So for that, the notes that we are going to be hitting there are C, E, and G. Then we move on a whole step up to the seventh fret, again, pressing down on the bottom five strings. Those notes are going to be D as your one, F sharp is your three, and A is your five. Okay, so there we have it. Those are the chords that we are going to be using in the song. Again, G, A, second fret, C, fifth fret, and D, seventh fret. Okay, so that's what's gonna be going on in this verse. Now, of course, there are going to be licks and suspensions. We will talk about those when they come our way. So we've got the intro here, G major. And we've got another lick that's happening there. Again, not too bad. I'm gonna be using my second finger to play this note. So we've got the open G. Open G, or the open A string, which is our G note here. Get that finger, slide it from the second fret to that fourth fret. So the notes that are happening here, the second fret is now an A, this fourth fret is now a B. So you've got G, A, B. And then you're gonna go ahead and pluck the open G string right underneath. Okay, so here we go. Just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and include the chord. I'm gonna do that a few times. I'm gonna do it slower and then do it fast. Feel free to follow along. Okay, 
just like that. So now we go ahead and move on to our C chord. And we're gonna go ahead and suspend this too. Again, that. The Keith tone right there, the key, the iconic Keith suspension. So let's go ahead and talk about it. How do we do this? We've got, we're coming from that riff. And right into that C chord, okay? How we're gonna do this, again, your first finger is going to go across the fifth fret of the A string, D string, G string, B string, and E string, those bottom five strings. We're gonna be ignoring this big E string for the most part in this song, okay? So, that's the chord there. What are the notes? Again, C, E, and G are one, three, fives. That's what's happening here in this chord. Now, what you're gonna do here is your second finger, okay? We're gonna place that on the sixth fret of that B string. Hear it? That's that suspended four. There it is. When we just isolate it without playing the rest of the, of the chord, that's what's happening. Now, I've seen instances in this where he also includes this third finger. You can absolutely do that on the seventh fret of the D string. Or if you just wanna do the one, I've seen it done that way too. I kinda like to do it that way. Sounds cool, but either way is fine. Okay, so now coming from the top of the verse, here's what we have so far. All right, let's go ahead and do that a few times here at varying speeds. I'm gonna use both versions of that suspension. The one including my third finger on that seventh fret of the D string and the one just using the second finger on the sixth fret of the B string. Okay, so here we go. faster. All right, so that's what's happening there. Now, we're going on to this next little riff here, and it goes like this. We're including that F. Getting bluesy, getting a little mixolydian-y, if that's a word, I don't think so. So that's what's happening there. So let's go ahead and go over this. Again, the hybrid picking is coming back here. Have your pick on the G string, middle finger on the E string here. So what you're going to do, see how cool and dissonant and awesome that sounds? So. Third finger, fifth fret E string. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of pull it off. You're not kind of gonna pull it off. You're gonna pull off to that third fret E string where your first finger is. Nice and slow. And then release, open E string again. Let's do this a few times here. Again, really, really cool. Super vibey. Now we're going back to that cool country bend. How do we do this? Again, maintain the hybrid picking that's happening with the right hand. Pick on the G string, middle finger, plucking upwards on that E string. Bend and come back down. There's some slight muting that's happening with this right hand too. 
So again, I'll talk about that in a second. And mute it here with this part of your hand. Again, to really make that bend stand out. Hear that? Just like that. We're getting real country here. Yeah. Cool. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do that riff a few times here, just to that bit, mute with this part of your hand right here. Okay? Here we go. And mute. Open G string after that. Include that droning E string right here. Now we go to this F, okay? Again, very bluesy note here. That flat seven, okay? So we're gonna use that again with our second finger, this time third fret D string. That's where that F lives. Okay, so here we go. Next riff after that, or next, next notes. You go ahead and play that G string and B string at the same time. Again, notice the hybrid picking happening on the right hand. Just like that. Okay, so here we go, whole thing at varying speeds, follow along. So that's that riff that happens right before that A chord shows up. So as I mentioned, that A chord, second fret. And we're gonna go ahead and suspend that as well. Again, that same Keef grip here. Now this time, second finger, go ahead and put that on the third fret of the B string, B as in boy. Third finger, place that fourth fret of the D string. Hear the suspension? Okay, that's what we're looking for. All right, so let's go ahead and play it from that riff to the A suspended chord. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and put it in context from the top of the verse, here we go. Keep in mind here this riff. There's a lot of overdub guitars here. So play around with the timing and getting those riffs to, to fit with the chords too. So, so again, I'm gonna play that a little faster to get the context. I'm gonna start it from the very top. From here, keep this first finger where it is at the second fret. We're gonna slide it down to D. This is going to be at the seventh fret. And there we go with those suspensions again. This time with that suspension, your second finger is gonna be going on the eighth fret of the B string. Your third finger is gonna go on the ninth fret of that D string. just like that. So let's go ahead, do it from the top of the verse, including these two chords here. Okay, so here we go. All right, let's do 
that a few more times. I'm going to do it a little slower for you guys. Here we go. out of this into that next G chord. Here's how we're going to do it. Very similar to the first one at the top of the verse. It's going to go like that. Here's how we do it. Second finger, keep it ready. We're going to, we're going to use this one for this, for this riff. So open A string, slide it from the second fret to the fourth fret. With that middle finger, play that open G string. fourth fret, that B, slide it backwards to the second fret, our new A note, and then G open again. So if I play it nice and slow, here's what that riff sounds like. Okay. Again, I'm going to do this a few times, and then I'll go ahead and play it a little faster. Here we go. So that's it. Now, let's go ahead and give it some context, play it from the top of the verse. Here we go. Okay, again. So that's, that's that part of the verse right there. So we're going back to G from there. There's that riff one more time because it's just so fun to play and it's a pretty easy riff to do. Just like we did with that riff one at the beginning of the verse, we're doing it again. Open A string, second fret slide to the fourth. Open G string, again, hybrid picking. Play it with your middle finger. All right, here we go in context from the top of that verse. Now we go back to C, fifth fret. Here's the next riff that comes after this. It's pretty much the same as the one we did right before the A chord in, in this song, but we're not gonna play that F, okay? So it's gonna sound like this. And again, there are so many variations of, of how he plays the song. So listen and hear all of the different cool things that he does. But again, this will this will lead you on the path to doing some pretty, pretty cool keep style stuff. So let's go ahead and have a look at that riff. So here's what's happening. Here's how we play it. Go ahead and put your third finger on that fifth fret of that E string. And again, 
Play it with your middle finger here. We're hybrid picking here. Get your pick, play it on that open G string. Get that first finger, go ahead and put it on the third fret of the E string. And do a pull off while you're, while you're there. Open E string. Just like that, let's do that a few times. Okay, here we go. There's that country bend again. And the muting again with that right hand. So get that second finger, second fret of the G string. There's our A. Use that droning with that E string on the bottom, play them together, bend with that second finger just enough. Just like that, okay? So again. Mute, good, again. Okay, next bit. Open G string, open E string together. Hammer on with that, second finger, second fret G string. Open G string and E string again. No hands, no hands, there we go. So here's the whole riff. All right, again. the verse here we go like that just like that so what I'll do here that was a little bit faster I'm gonna do it a bit slower here so we can really hear those inflections and again I'm seeing a lot of comments here and I completely agree with what you guys are saying the tone and the vibe of this song really really relies on this right hand this hybrid picking is a really really important technique for this song because again we really want those droning <laughs> We want to highlight that G string and that E string together. It's a little tough when we want to strum because we just want to segment those two strings only. So I would really suggest that you, you practice that. And again, the intro riff, pretty much all of these riffs in this song are really good introductory level stuff and level riffs to go ahead and practice this hybrid picking again. Because once you have this hybrid picking technique down, it's just endless all of the cool stuff you can do on guitar. So I really, really encourage you guys, wherever you're watching from, wherever your level is as a guitar player, to really, really begin to adopt this technique into your playing. It's, it's a solid one. It's really, really great. It's one that I use all the time, playing live sessions, all that good stuff. It's, it's a good technique, trust me. It's a good one to have in the back pocket for sure. So let's go ahead, play the whole tune so far that we have from the top of the intro all the way to where we are at right now. So here we go, I'm gonna go through this. There's gonna be one little bit uh, right before the chorus and I'm gonna go ahead and take some questions. Joe DeLuca is asking if this is an open G. Yes, Joe, we are an open G today. We are an open G. I think someone, it's in the show notes how to get there if you don't know how to tune an open G, it's there for you guys. All right, so here we go from the top. And I'm gonna go a little slower. Or 
A chord. So there's a really cool little lick that happens. It's in one of the guitar overlays they did. It's really, really cool. It's gonna be harmonics here, folks. So we're gonna do first finger, put it on over the second fret and here, or second fret, 12th fret. We wanna put it over the 12th fret. Now, the trick with harmonics here, we do not wanna press. We want to lightly, lightly touch, get right on top of that fret. We don't wanna be right before it, we don't wanna be right after, because we're not gonna get that nice, clear sound. So be very, very precise when you do this, right on top of the fret. Go ahead and play G, D, G, and B string, 12th fret, okay? So here we go. Light touch, don't press. Okay, again. Now. Second finger, bend second fret G string. And release. Now, if you wanna go ahead and do that droning E, wanna make it a little more country, do it. Wanna leave it blank? Fine. But if you're there and you wanna practice your hybrid picking technique, do it. You're already there. Just like that. Okay, so. Again, I'm gonna do that a few times at varying speeds. And pull off. Here we go from the very, very top and put your questions in the questionnaire thing and I'm gonna get to all of them, so here we go. there we go. That is the intro. That is the verse. So let's go ahead and get to some of your guys' questions here. I know someone had asked, what amp am I going through? So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the gear. So the amp that I'm going through here is a Fender Blues Junior 3. I love it. It is my go-to like practice amp, smaller gigs. I love it. It's got just enough grit, really pairs well with uh, pedals and sounds really great with a guitar just plugged in folks and that's something that's really really important to me I'm a huge fan of tube amps a guitar has to sound really good straight into an amp that is number one for me before I even think about putting pedals into the equation the guitar's got to sound great 
through that amp. So that's what I'm using there. So a little bit about the guitar that I'm using here. This is one I actually built from parts. So this is a Fender Telecaster here. I totally love this guitar. What I did is it had the regular tuner, so I went and swapped the uh, tuners to to more vintage style as you can see they're, they're they're pretty neat they're super fun I love them maple neck here obviously if, if you know I figure I, I love doing the open tuning telly you know stones type stuff so I really wanted a cool maple neck that's what I got here again as I mentioned I have the the awesome Fishman Fluence Gristle Tones Greg if you're watching man these these pickups rock these are these are so great again i've got it into setting two so this is the black guard setting again you're going to have a little bit more punch here you're going to have a little bit more sustain that like telly growl that is iconic with the keep sound rolling stone sound again it really really hits that home i'm loving the tone here and again I don't have any overdrive or any of that here. I'm not putting any dirt on this thing. I've got a slight delay and into the amp. As far as tone, that is all I'm doing. So that growl and stuff is coming naturally from these, from, from this guitar. So it's, it just so gets that tone. It's just awesome. It's just awesome. Those, so those are the pickups here. Again, if you guys have an opportunity to check them out, like do. And they're super quiet, which is a plus. They, they're, they're just great. They're just great. And again, it's in candy apple red. So, so yeah, absolutely love the guitar. Totally, totally love these pickups. And again, I'm, I'm not going through, I'm not going through any overdrive whatsoever. It is amp, a touch of delay and these pickups. And that is Absolutely, that is absolutely it. And again, those of you who are, who are digging these lessons and are tuning in week after week, I see so many familiar names up here. Thank you all so much for, for tuning in. If you guys are having fun, be sure, be sure, be sure to subscribe to the folks at Fishman on their socials, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all of that good stuff. Instagram, really, really good things happening. Lots of cool stuff coming down the pipe with the folks at Fishman. Uh, and yeah, be, be sure to subscribe to keep up on all the cool stuff, all the cool stuff that's coming your way. You can follow me, AngelaPatrilliMusic.com, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all of that good stuff. I am so thrilled that all of you are really, really enjoying these lessons and, and learning something. And again, I think putting music in the world makes it a better place for all of us. So thanks again for, for all you guys for being awesome and all that good stuff. So. That is what's happening here. Let's see. You should do a signature telly, Matthew. You, you never know. I am, I love, I love a good telly. I love a good strat. Those of you who follow me know, I just, oh, there's nothing like a great strat. But man, is there nothing like a really good telly. And this thing's great. I've really, I've, I've, I've had it in my circuit of playing, gosh, maybe like a couple months now. And it just feels, I don't know. It just so gets the, the, the keef tone and that that is something that's really really important to me with a really cool telly is to get that growl but that really cool punch that a telly is just absolutely known for the nice sparkle and all that good stuff so yeah so yeah good good stuff guys good good stuff again thank you all for tuning in thank you all for tuning in uh wild horses let's see i think i have done a lesson on wild horses i have yes I have. You can check it out on YouTube. It's there. I have yet to do Angie. I have had many requests for that. Don't worry. It will be coming. I promise. <laughs> we'll get there. It's a fun acoustic one for sure. For sure. All right. So that's what's happening. Intro verse got them covered. So now let's go ahead and have a look at this chorus. So lucky for us, two chords is all we're going to be dealing with. G and D back and forth, back and forth. We're going to be doing the suspensions too. Don't worry. They are there. So here is what's happening there. Again, very staccato with this.
that's the way I like to attack this when I, when I play this song. And this is absolutely like one of my favorite songs to play live. Such, such a fun one. So here's what we're gonna do here. First two fingers, that's all we're gonna be using to do the suspension with G, all right? Beautiful chord, so many classic rock bands have used this chord. We're gonna get to a few more of those lessons in the coming weeks, be ready for that. First finger, first fret, B string, B as in boy, okay? Your second finger, second fret, D string, D as in dog. Go ahead and play the, the bottom five strings. Yeah, good stuff, right? And then G. Just like that. Okay? So again, right hand, super important here. We're being very, very percussive when we play this. I think that's been a common theme in this lesson today. Right hand technique, very, very important for really nailing the tone here. do that slow just so you guys get the feel of it that's all that's happening there that G and the G sus that's it so, now we go to D. Again, seventh fret, bring your first finger all the way across the bottom five fret, bottom five strings. Say that 10 times fast. Seventh fret, and your suspension. How are we doing that? For your second finger is going to go on the eighth fret of the B string, all right? And your third finger, ninth fret, D string should sound like this. And then release D major. Okay, just like that. So let's go between those two. Let's rock back and forth with these for a while. G sus, here we go. So what we're gonna do next is, it goes between G and D and G and D. What they also do here, 12th fret, remember, is an octave higher than this. So we play that too. I'm gonna combine the three of these so you can hear how it sounds, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it, okay? So here we go. Not too bad, right? First finger, bring it all the way to the 12th fret. Those of you perhaps playing this on an acoustic, maybe a little bit tougher, but if you're playing on an electric, it's pretty cool. It sounds, it's a lot of fun. Bring that first finger all the way to the 12th fret, bottom five strings. Remember, we're not, we're not using this top E string for the song today. There's an octave higher, right? G chord, right there. Or a couple octaves higher. There it is. Your second finger, 13th fret, B string. Your third finger, we're gonna go ahead and put that on the 14th fret of the D string. And we play all of those together. And then release. Pretty cool, right? G chord. G sus. To G. Okay? So, here we go. From the top of the chorus, one. I'll, I'll do it slow, and then we'll do it a little bit faster. So here we go. One, two, three.
this in one of the passes I slid. If you want to add a little bit more character into this, just a little more movement maybe, feel free to do that. So I'm going to throw that in here. Let me know if that works for you. Again, just listen to, it just brings a little more movement into it. So let's go ahead and try that. Again, the slide. If you want to include that slide from the C or play it straight, it's totally cool, totally up to you. Again, feel the key vibes. Wherever it leads you, it's going to be great. <laughs> okay. So that's what's going on there. All right, so let's see. Then there's another lick that happens there. Very similar to the intro riff. There's another note that's a little bit different-ish. Let's talk about it. So, what we're gonna do, second finger. There's that country, right? The bend, it's back. Second finger, second fret G string. Bend, that little bit of a mute on that part of your hand, right? And again, the droning E string, hybrid picking, it's back. There it is. Now notice with that bend, how I'm bringing it down with the drone. Again, I'll do that nice and slow a few times here. Second finger, second fret, D string, open G string. And remember, droning the whole time, hybrid picking, here we go. Er. Again. Again, nice and slow. Let's do it a few more times here, varying speeds. Or important the hybrid picking is with this tune. Two, three. That's what's happening there. Let's go ahead and do it from the intro. Intro, verse, chorus. Those three parts. Here we go. I'll do the first pass slow and then I'll do the first pass to speed. Here we go.
Now a little bit faster, here we go. Back to your verse. Pretty cool stuff, right? So again, really have fun with these riffs. Because he puts them everywhere and they're all a little bit different, but man, are they so, so cool when you plug them in and again, I cannot stress this enough. If there's anything you learned from this lesson today is get this hybrid picking around. It's gonna make playing this tune a lot more fun, a lot more dynamic. Ugh, it's just, it's a blast, it's a blast. But yeah, super, super cool tune, really, really fun to play. And again, this is gonna be on YouTube. So if there are little parts you're like, wait, what did she do again? And how did she get that bit? And wait a second, was that, an, was that a hybrid picking part or not? Go back and rewind and, and watch this. And I encourage you guys, it is, it is so cool to be able to help you guys learn how to play. Like I know some of my favorite songs and hopefully some of your favorite songs. So take your time with it. Again, when you are learning something and you're getting frustrated, there is, it, it, try and remember to enjoy the journey and enjoy the process because that's where we really, really grow. And it's always cool when you get the song down, but you're like, man, I kind of miss learning it. It was kind of fun, you know, going through and maybe struggling through it a little bit and then having that aha moment where it clicks. So really find the space to enjoy the process and really listen. And again, I say this in all of the lessons, you cannot play anything fast. You cannot play slow. So really take your time. That's why in these lessons, I take these bits through the slower processes first. So you can really see, okay, here's how you're getting those inflections. Here's how you're getting this. Because again, when you make that space where you can think and process, and again, almost choreograph what you're going to do in a song. When you make the space there, you can really think things through and that's where good technique grows. So really take the time to incorporate this in your learning process. Go slow first. That's where you can really begin to fertilize those ideas and those techniques. So take the time. You cannot play anything fast, you can't play slow. And I hope my, my voice is in your head when you're, when, you're, when you're learning something like that. Take the time to go slow. The speed will come. It sets a good, really, really good foundation for technique, okay? So you guys are worth the effort. Remember that, remember that. Uh, again, this is this is so much fun. I so enjoy playing these tunes. Again, we've got time for questions. I've, I'm seeing a bunch of them here. Those of you who are, you know, wondering about gear and all that stuff, so so happy to answer a few questions. But that's that's pretty much the tune. So I encourage you guys to to sit and learn this and really really have some fun. Because man, is this a fun one to play? And I have been seeing a bunch of questions here from folks saying. Could you do this in standard tuning? Absolutely. Could you do the suspensions in standard tuning? Absolutely. You can do all of this. It's just not going to have that same exact vibe. You can totally do it. I've done gigs where I had one guitar and couldn't get one into open tuning and played it in standard. It can be done. But man, if you can if you can have a guitar in, in open tuning and play this song, it's just, oh, 
it's just the coolest. You really get the vibe. So, so I encourage you guys, even if you're, I know there are some folks who are a little bit scared and exploring open tunings. Open G is a really, really good place to start. There's a lot of cool stuff here. The chords are pretty simple and easy to get around and it's a lot of fun. Again, you have all these droning notes that are very cool too and you have a chord that's literally right underneath your fingers and you don't have to press anything. So think, think about that. If you're a little nervous, dip, dip your toe in the water and, 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 and tune your guitar to open G. Do it this weekend and see how it feels. I, I know I did um, Wild Horses. And that one's an open G as well. So you can go ahead and have yourself a Rolling Stones weekend looking at my lesson for Wild Horses and then picking up the, uh, this tune here today with Honky Tonk Woman. Again, it is, it is such a blast. It is such an honor and a pleasure and a joy. And I am so thankful every day that I get to teach you guys how to play and, and that the folks at, with Fishman are letting me do this really, really cool thing and, and, and reaching out to all of you and getting you all to play. So I encourage you guys, be sure to give us a follow on the socials, the folks at Fishman, give them a follow. You can follow me, Angela Petrilli Music, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all over the place, even TikTok, but it's all guitar videos. I don't do that dancing stuff. Guitar and music only on the TikTok, let's be real. Uh, it's, it's such a joy to do these lessons, such a joy. And again, I notice a lot of you really digging these pickups. Check them out. Like, seriously do yourself a favor. These pickups are great. These pickups are great. It so nails the tone. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Again, thank you all so, so much wherever you are tuning in from. It has been an absolute pleasure to teach you today. I will be here same time, same channel next week. It will be an acoustic lesson. So have the acoustic guitar ready. I've got two or three songs in mind for the lesson, but it will be a lot of fun. So again, have a happy weekend. I hope it's filled with a lot of good music and a lot of good learning and folks. Take good care, take care of one another, and I will see you 